Let's get ready for the main content tonight. Yeah, so we're going to start with Idle MMO. Hell yeah. So this is this is part of our lightweight MMO RPG yes. news segment. <laughs> and the first game that we're covering tonight is Galahad Creative's Idle MMO. It's version 0 0.18.1 uh, public beta. And here are the changes, chat. We have significant speed improvements. Uh, which is great. Mm -hmm. So that means late latency down from 147 MS to 18 MS. And now we have CPU usage dropped from 60% to 19. I yeah. didn't know it was using that much CPU. It's pretty much just quality of life, but uh, uh, you know, the back end to make the game feel better. Have you noticed an increase in speed? Do you feel like your your play session with Idle Memo has gotten better latency wise? Primarily, I've been using the app and the app's janky as F for me really no yeah browser it feels okay i still feel like i'm doing a lot of clicking i'm doing a lot of guild tab to chat to challenges to clicking out of that to skill tab or even map tab to find out where i need to go to get these challenges done it, there's a lot of clicking still um and the app is still when i it's like every other time it happens so like say i'm on this my character screen yeah i click guild i'm on the guild screen like, okay, I'm gonna click skills. It minimizes, like it doesn't shut off. It doesn't close that, but it minimizes on my device and I have to reopen it and then it pops open. Oh yeah, it crashed. Yeah, I guess you could say that's crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's a, yeah, that's a known problem uh, that still yeah. uh, was supposed to be fixed and then it didn't work out for some reason. Yeah, that part happened. I That started happening for me as well, uh, like two or three weeks ago. You said I was crazy. Ago. Huh? You said, you said what is wrong with your app? Yeah, it was that. your problem. Now it's everyone's problem. So thanks for that. <sighs> Um, <laughs> that's why I've actually stopped playing like multiple accounts, like whichever account I'm on at that time in my, uh, app, that's all you got that's all I'm playing now <laughs> because I'm tired of it crashing and opening it every time I change accounts. I'm like, ah, this is my one account now <laughs> back to one solo account. But, <laughs> but I do feel like when I am using it, it is, uh, a, a not as latent, if you will. Um, mm. there's still that like, uh, when you are transitioning um, accounts and you go to a mm -hmm. skill and it doesn't crash because it now it's like every other time it'll crash for me, not just every time. Uh, there is sort of a little lag uh, for loading the new uh, accounts information for the oh, skill yeah. levels and everything. For me, it'll show like my alt, but yeah. it'll still show me traveling, like yep. my mains traveling to the dun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I hope that that gets, I, I think that whole thing needs to be reworked or like fixed because that's, Based off of the, like, uh, I, I made a, a comment on one of the posts for, like, uh, bug reports, and Mike's tracking it, so, like, he, he's talking about the specific thing that's identified as a problem, so hopefully they'll be working on that maybe in the next couple of updates, but uh, I do feel like, otherwise, like, it's it seems to be smoother experience um, outside of the UX pro problems that you're listing, but, yeah. uh, like, it, at least what, loading. And that's the issue for me is, like, I can't even... I can't even tell because there's still so much clicking going on just to navigate through things. Uh, and that's just by design in a game with this many options going on. Yeah. I was just thinking, you know, how you said Mike identified specifically what was wrong. Yeah. Well, if you just put, it's Yomu. That Sell it out, you're a co-developer. So let's move on to the second segment yeah. of Idle MMO news. Yeah. And Crazy5, if you want to, if you want to lead us into what we're about to drop here yeah this we're is actually, an exclusive it, yeah it's an exclusive we're actually about to leak this information uh a little birdie flew by one day and was like hey i got some idle mmo uh information i i flew all the way across the pond just to let you know about this uh direct trading which i actually saw in chat uh in the official discord a lot of people were asking about it um, like, can you direct trade or can you trade? Well, it, we've heard that it's coming soon. It's about 90% complete as of right now. Uh, so maybe next update or two, whenever that's going to be, but it's right around the corner or should be, uh, assuming everything's going well. Uh, and the, the, the last 10% is not a bitch or something like that, you know? <laughs> uh, but like, that's officially like what we've heard, uh, is that it's right around. It's, it's, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. I guess I'll say, um, yeah. So look forward to that. I know a lot of people have been asking about that, whether that means it's direct trading between alts or direct trading between players or both. Not exactly sure. Didn't get the full breakdown on that piece. Um, but it, that is exciting. I personally hope that it's between characters that you own. I don't give a crap about trading with other players uh, yeah. because, you know, that, the, market's the market's busted. there. Yeah, market's there anyway. So screw it. I don't, I don't care. But 
uh, allow me to freaking direct trade with my gosh darn alt, please, for the love of God. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in Galad Creative's other game, Simple Mill, you can have an alt, but you can't interact whatsoever yeah. with it. You can't yeah. be in the same guild, you can't trade, you can't whatever, right? So in ILMO, this is huge because this is a game that promotes, you know, alternative ca uh, yeah. characters and interaction. Because right now, just like in Ironwood or so, you have to go through the market, play something like a minimum or a maximum, however yep. much money you want. And then you have to go more clicking, go to your alt and then go through the market and then find your list, your alt's listing and then give yourself money that way. Uh, and it's just tedious. So yeah. Hopefully this means trading through alts first. I mean, heck, or other characters. I mean, it would be really useful in a guild setting. Yeah, uh, yep. I was just about to but mention that, yeah. Maybe a solo player setting, not so much. There's not even a chat function in the game, so there's not going to be that element, that like merchant, like humanized element to trading and looking for deals and stuff. Yeah. So I don't think that's great but anyway that's the that's yeah, the I, exclusive leak here yeah so i do want to say like i do yeah. like I, I think it would be really cool if like you have certain like say you have all accounts that you want to feed your high level guild members right like fishing mm -hmm. you have a lot of gold for some reason but you don't want to fish so you could just buy the bait for the the person and send it to them and all they have to do is sit there and just fish away uh and get all that stuff and like raise that individual within the guild or you know it'll allow a new dynamic where you could prioritize yeah. certain players for certain things and then have your alt accounts feed into those uh players uh so it's a, a you know a supported and supporting system there that would be very interesting to see play out especially for the high level guilds who are cranking out exp oh all the time it's ridiculous i don't know how they do that um but yeah, I, I would love that to see that. That's it. That's Owl MMO's 0.18.1 update uh, and the exclusive leak that we have here. So if you play IDLMO and you're interested uh, in IDLMO news, make sure you subscribe or at least stop by during our streams because we might have more information like that in the future. Let's get ready for our next segment. This is mm. our next game we're covering. This is Galaxy Creative Simple MMO, their mm -hmm. first game. It's pretty much the first substantial update the game has received in a long, in a long time. Okay, yes. besides like the, the gold nerfs and uh, QOL backend updates. This is Simple Mode version 12.37.0. Wow, what a number. <laughs> and it's being dubbed the Orphanage Rework. Yep. So there's three tiers, uh, each lasting two hours. And here's the thing. If you play Idol and Mill, mm -hmm. or if you played it, Mm -hmm. There's a system in there called the Shrine System. The Shrine System I will know looks just like this. It's it's got it's a tiered system where players don't have to cash out to get a benefit. The tiered system allows players to get some benefit mm -hmm. as they're donating into the system. We have some words on this from uh, the community, which we'll be going over here soon. Uh, but continuing on from the three tier system, there's also an API chain. And then there's travel goal changes, uh, Crazy Fi, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. <laughs> level 50k is no longer, like there's not a hard no cap, cap at that level. However, it is a diminishing return. Yeah. Uh, and he, he must have done this because I just hit level 50k. So thank you. Oh, Mike. yeah. I'm sure he was yeah. like, ah, uh, no one Tyson's else. There? No. Okay. We got to take care of that, man. <laughs> I'm literally the most popular player in the game. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You, you believe uh, that. <laughs> uh, but before we, we make, you know, we, we involve or we, we go over the community comments, uh, Crazy Fire, is there anything you want to say, uh, you know, overall about the orphanage changes a couple of things so i nope. i okay perfect i think i i like this change for a number of reasons one it is a uh, more of a gold sink for sure like 100 uh 800 mil to hit tier three is absolutely insane um but that's cool i like i'm fine with that because this is combating the uh you know the uh inflation problem that we've been seeing constantly discussed over the years for simple mmo uh, and I wonder if that, you know, doing this orphanage uh, change like this is allowed Mike to make changes to the travel cap or if they're just two separate decisions and not, you know, um, they're exclusive to each other and not actually inclusive to each other. Uh, that would be interesting to find out for sure. Um, yeah. I do like that each tier is two hours. So technically, technically it could go for six hours straight 
and that allows for more time for players to actually be able to join. And it could happen at random times through the day, so it's not like a two-hour bust and then uh, mm -hmm. nothing for anyone else who's like at work or you know living life and yeah, then not dead. you know yeah. So I like it. I know that they said that the the gold costs for each tier they're going to evaluate over time and, and make adjustments if need be. Uh, so it'd be interesting. I have a feeling it'll more than likely go down. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I would hope that they shoot high and then lower a little bit because that that's a better, I guess, a PR. Yeah, you can always things. scale things back. Yeah, you can scale yeah. things back if they, yeah. Yeah, so I do like that a lot. Um, I and if you if you max out all like if someone's like I'm gonna drop 800 mil right here, uh, screw it, you know, like you get all the bonuses stacked, which I really like. That's a cool feature right there to um, you know, allow that to happen. So I think overall the orphanage piece is really good. Uh, I have other words about the um. The, the the stepping gold but i would want to hear your your opinion on the orphanage what, what are your thoughts yeah well i didn't expect it out of all the changes yeah. i was hoping for this year i didn't think we would get an orphanage rework but i believe this was on the roadmap uh yeah I, if i'm not mistaken i i know there was like ro orphanage tweaks on there uh so wasn't expecting it like you said the way it was packaged was stepping gold um having a soft lock mm -hmm. Or the lo the the lock unlocked, I guess. Yeah. Uh, for scalability purposes with diminishing returns, it's good. I just I'm glad to see an update. My concern is how much of simple mo is going to be changed to match idle mo because this is literally it's the same it's the same system. The only difference is in idle mo it's regional. There's shrines in different parts of the map. It's regional where simple mo it's server wide, but still the it, it mimics idle mo. So I'm just kind of wondering like. Will simple mo improve or will it just adapt mechanics that are proven in idle ml i mean i just hit 50k i i don't step enough or i i don't step enough and i'm not dependent on stepping mm -hmm. yet as yeah. i progress through the game to notice the the, the mission returns and yeah. I, I do want to correct myself chuby corrected me uh each chuby. tier 800 mil it's just for tier three so it's a, a like 1.5 1.65 bill mm. for all three tiers all at once if you want that which sounds like an amazing whale sink <laughs> if you ask yeah. me uh come on come all spend your diamonds and gold please bro i literally only interact with the orphanage for my stupid daily task, the task like, yep. i do not i don't ever go like let me drop some diamonds for the community you know like yeah, no screw I'm like, them. <laughs> 50 you know the 49k the 51k the 52k task all right, here we go. You know, yeah. wipe my butt with it. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me my five diamonds, dude. Yeah. So there's one other concern. Okay. Uh, and shout out to my homie Ghost Bear. Uh, she DM'd me and was like, "You're gonna love this, by the way." Mm. And then lo and behold, we have a, a friend and prominent artist in the community had the same sentiment from Rogarth, and he's commenting on our community posts on the YouTube channel. The Rogarth said specifically about the orphanage update in Simple Mo. Mm-hmm. One thing that will most likely go unnoticed by other people is that the new orphanage page uses an AI image, at least a non-pixel art image. I still need to sit and analyze, but it's a first other than the game logo and some small UI elements like setting buns, etc. And he's referring to it's the first art of its kind um, to be introduced into the game at this stage that's not pixel art. Mm -hmm. And he says something like this might be the first signal that pixel art won't be the standard in the game anymore, mm -hmm. which may result in more fast paced content and cheaper to make. But at the same time, uh, poor Red, rest in peace, Red. Red is the, the current artist uh, in Simple Mo who handles the events and things like that nature. Now, this is just this is, obs this is an early observation, but I had the same. I, I didn't have this deep of analysis on this crazy fi okay. at first. One, I was like, yo, uh, Ghost Bear, this is a un this is unused idle MMO assets. This is the same prompt, probably with an idle MMO, right? Like it's got the same aesthetic to me. And here's the thing. So mm -hmm. Mike has gone on the record and stated that they have used a mixture of assets and AI art for mm -hmm. idle MMO, okay? But he's never said what specifically is AI art and what right. specifically are assets. You know, are the avatars assets or are they are? We don't, we don't know. This image, it's clean. It's, it's really good looking. But again, it looks like an unused asset from Idle MMO and it's not pixel art. And that's what confuses me because CrazyFi 
simple in the mill. The backgrounds for events, they're just random cheap packs that we found, art packs that we found online, right? Yeah. And the location art, that's a $2 art pack we found. And that was used because Simple Mill was an early stage game. It was in, you know, early concept. They were just using assets to fill stepping background, you know, whatever. Those are natively not pixel. The event items are avatars, besides like the the low poly, um, like beginner avatars. The custom art, which is required to be pixel art, by the way. Sprites, all background. that stuff. The main inter like items that are interacted, you know, between player and the game are pixelated. Mm -hmm. So this is a very good point by Rogarth where it's like, I don't know if every asset's gonna be flipped like this moving forward, but it shows that they're not against using already established assets mm -hmm. to put back into Simple Mill. And look, it is a, it's an upgrade if there was no item there to begin with, or if it was just some like, you know, landscape or background art mm -hmm. that is from a random pack. This looks way better, but it is confused. is, I always talk about this, like not having like a main like art or aesthetic to a game. Like Idol MO, I appreciate. It's like it fits, right? Mm -hmm. It gives me like Elder Scrolls vibes. The simple MO is so fucking chaotic. This just adds to it. Crucify, what do you think? I think uh that sentiment is jumping off the deep end. Obviously, like hundred percent. I think uh Galahad Creative is smart enough to not walk away from pixel art in Simple MO mm -hmm. as it's part of its brand. It's a main portion of the brand of Simple MO. They wouldn't backtrack now because then you're changing a huge portion of the brand, which uh, I don't think they would do. It doesn't make sense at, from a business standpoint, in my opinion. I feel like this is not is less about like, oh, walking away from pixel art because fuck that or whatever. Like I, I no, it's more of. Hey, every tab, every freaking page had some type of crazy ass background in it that was then <laughs> removed because it was too resource intensive and they wanted to streamline the game. This is a smaller asset that does not make the page look like crap because when they removed all of the background images, I'll be honest, that was like a, that was like a, you know, it hit me. It was like, oh, this is kind of crap now. Like it's just you know, words on the screen, like there's no design, there's no cool, you know, whatever background, whatever it may be, it, it just looked plain and it looked jarring. Uh, so I think this is a compromise of going from having those cool backgrounds to just having nothing but like text, which was jarring mm -hmm. when that update came out. I don't see the company going, all right, Simple MO is no longer about uh pixel art because screw that we're just going to decide to do this and to conform to everything we have for each game i think that they have a clear defined line between idle mmo and simple mmo whether or not you could argue that this was an unused asset for idle mmo maybe maybe not or they decided to create it for this one because it does look clean it absolutely does look clean i you know there's no argument there I just don't think this is going to like change the branding of Simple MMO. I don't think anyone's saying pixel art is going to be replaced. It definitely looks like it's just going to be blended in. Like this type of art, the non-pixelated art, pixelated art, is just going to be blended into the game over time. I don't want to say it's disappointment, but I had always thought that if you were going to, like we've talked about this. I even talked about this with Ubi before he became Darth Vader, okay? Mm -hmm. But it would have been awesome just to have artists in the community who are proven artists to to work on an image at this scale, but in pixel form, you know, like give the artists in the community a chance to, you know, give your game a new aesthetic that is matching the overall theme, which is the avatars, the sprites, the item, the, 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 the 20 bajillion items in the game, you know? Um, so that, that, that's where just, I come from. Like I, this looks good. I'm not, I'm not against it, but yeah. would it have been cooler? If this was like a pixelated, you know, uh, house yeah. that I mean, matched like the overall pixel world that people imagine when they play this game. Yeah, we know. definitely like we've definitely seen AI that can do pixel artwork. I don't I don't think the argument is, you know, just being a devil's advocate on my for my own point. Like, I, I don't think the argument is use AI with this clean image or have to pay a pixel artist. You could just say goodbye pixel artist as well and use pixel, you know, AI to create a pixel art. I don't think there's, yeah. you know, the... the, the AI smart enough to be able to do it. Like we've seen it 
uh, well done before. I do find it interesting though that like the community, at least from what I could tell, uh, from like the you know the, the community that we have within Couch Cat and everything, is really hyper focused in on this image, the small tiny image, and that's like, all we care about, dude. And like the gold cap being removed off the 50k, which was a huge, huge issue when it first came out. Like people were like, oh yeah, yeah. okay, whatever. But like, oh my god, it's not a pixelated house. <laughs> like I, I think that is interesting in of itself uh for this community uh and, and i find it a little uh, funny <laughs> but that will close out simple mo's update just glad to hear just glad to say simple mo had an update that wasn't just qol uh changes yeah. here uh interested to see what's going to happen more this year yeah because uh, it, it does look like crazy fi that things are being tested and once they're proven in ilmo once the code is fixed for simple mo how can they yeah enhance a feature yeah and in, in how can they learn from the the game that's uh objectively better at put background? together ground yeah put together and like you know took the lessons learned from the simple mo experience and applied to i don't know and then going back and feeding back into i like that loop